K51 here, Big 550, KTRS. The nice thing about Jennifer Blom being uh, hired by the Big 550 KTRS with uh, John Grayson is that she no longer has to darken our doorstep. Oh, oh, you are Jennifer. terrible. <laughs> Stacy Switzer, no relation to Barry, is uh, a development associate with the APA of uh, Missouri. Good morning, Stacy. Good morning. How are you? What kind of dog did you bring to us today? I have a little chihuahua. He's all black. He's about four years old. He came to us from a hoarding situation. Mm. So he's a little bit scared. Um, mm. He just wants to be a lap dog, though. He'll, he's so low key. Yeah. He's, he's just. So he you can, I mean, so, I mean, they really, when they're in places like that, they really does affect them the rest of their lives. You know, I've seen some from hoarding cases that, I mean, it may take a good four to six months for them to realize, oh, this is, you know, this is a good place. You know, human, human right. interaction is good. Right. So I don't think it affects them their whole life. Um, you know, you can't expect it to take a little bit longer right. than normal, but, right. um, but, but they will. But, but it will affect them, though, for at least for a while. Yes, it will. Yeah. It will. Uh, are we seeing, uh, first of all, all right, so how do we get the dog? Um, contact the APA. We're open seven days a week. We're in Brentwood. So give us a call if you want more information or just show up at our doors. Uh, you also have another Diamonds and Doggies event coming up? That is tonight from 5 to 7. So you can check our Facebook page and you'll get all the info about that. We've got, we'll have two adoptable puppies at um, the event tonight. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. And where do we find out more with that and where do we get all these cute dogs? Again, you can get all these cute dogs at the APA Adoption Center. So the, check out our website, yes. APAMO.org. Uh, I was reading a story that we're doing a tremendous job of spayed and neutering our dogs and cats, and so we're seeing a dent in this problem. We, I, I've been with the APA for seven years altogether now, and I have definitely seen improvements. Um, and in the animal welfare community, we're starting to talk. We used to talk about um, just unwanted pets or in pet overpopulation. Right. Um, and we're starting to see a homeless pet problem instead. Now, where, wh now what is that? What does that mean? Well, uh, dogs are being spayed and neutered. Um, so we're not seeing like the litters and litters of puppies of unwanted dogs. Right. Um, but just dogs that, you know, people can't keep for whatever reason or, you know, they let them go on the streets. Um, but it's, it's not the overpopulation problem. It's a homeless problem. Pet so the dog doesn't fit with the family for whatever reason. They're right. moving and whatever else. Right. Now back up a second. There are some people who just go on the side of the road and open up the door and let the dog out. Yes. Yeah. Which I, it's, I it just it's it's beyond my it's, imagination. Yeah. It's you know. Really. It's it's unfortunate, but it's true. Especially still in rural Missouri. We started our whole transfer program, and we have people that you know they'll be driving down you know Highway 44 somewhere and mm -hmm. just found this dog on the side of the road. So. Or we have a lot of people that will go camping, and they'll come back with the, the with the dog while they're camping. With the dog, and so the and so the family can't handle the dog anymore for whatever mm -hmm. reason. They've mm -hmm. fallen on hard times. They don't right. know what to do. They don't know where to go. Right. So they open up the door, say good luck, and mm -hmm. oh my goodness, that's yeah. heartbreaking. I know. It is. It I is. know, and I get they just don't realize there are places where you can take the dog safely. Right, exactly. And, you know, we try not to pass judgment on anyone right. that's surrendering an animal to us. You know, we just, we want to do what's best for the animal. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, it's also, um, I can't imagine anybody doing it purposely, but you have to sort of figure out where the family is in that situation mm -hmm. right. to get yourself to that place to say, look, I can't feed my children. Right. I, right. I, I got to let the dog go. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a heartbreaking situation in and of itself. Mm -hmm. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Um, all right. So mention this again. So if the dog no longer works, the new baby comes in, mm -hmm. whatever else, the dog gets a little this and that, it's still a good dog. You take the dogs, no questions asked. Right. We do ask if it's an owner surrender dog. We do want to know as much history as you can give us about the dog to right. help it to help place it in the correct home, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. a home that's going to be good for it. But, um, yeah. you know, we, we don't pass judgment. We understand yeah. people fall on hard times. And yeah, yeah. I can't wait. Whoever do who adopts him, you know, he's you said he's around four years old. Yeah, I can't imagine. I would sure surely in a few months he's going to be a, a different dog. Yeah, he will. He definitely yeah. will. He's just a little shy now. Mm -hmm. What kind of dog is that? Chihuahua. He's yeah. really sweet. Is I think that, Molly could really use. No, Molly could not use another one of those dogs. <laughs> no. Is that like the dog I, I, I told you my, my nieces were adopting? Yes. Yes. So, so I got a picture. My nieces are adopting a lucky dog. 
Remember, you know, Lucky Dog, he's on every Saturday morning. The TV oh, yes, show? yes, yes. yes. Uh -huh. so I have seen that. They're mm -hmm. flying to California mm -hmm. to get the Lucky Dog? Is that what they do? So explain this to people. So he, he takes pets from shelters. Yeah. And um, dogs who are probably walking the Green Mile, many of them. Right. And he takes them to his ranch and he trains them and makes them ready, available for adoption. And he matches them matches them up as best as he can uh, with I mean um, how many dogs does he do I mean oh I he does so many so it isn't like yeah. they got some like one of six dogs he has all he has a lot of dogs and so people fly in from all over the country to get the, the dogs um, I don't know if they fly in from all over the country I mean he does a lot of people in that area right but yeah. um yeah there's some really really great success stories yeah dogs mm -hmm. that have no skills whatsoever and then he trains them and makes them viable members Great dog citizens. I will tell you this. I've had a dog now for five years. Mm -hmm. I was never a dog person growing up. <laughs> Still not a dog person. But <laughs> sweet little Molly, though. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm just, You're just just your one, just Molly, and that's it. Molly. That's it. Yeah, just that's Molly. Really, that's really, yes, it's really all, yes. I, you bring in other dogs, some of them are all right looking, but I mean, I See? just, oh my you know, God. Other, she, she passes other dogs in the street. I'm like, don't, don't look at her. <laughs> don't talk to that dog. Oh that, dog is, that, dog's, that, that dog's from the other side of the tracks. Right, I don't want you to associate yeah, with trouble. that dog. I don't know, but, but I mean, it's, she's become a part of the family. Well, I'm glad that you have Molly because I think you have slowly become a little more of a dog person. It right. would it'd be impossible for you not to be if I, you I, have a dog. I told right. my vet, I said, I'm not a dog person, I'm a Molly person. And the vet said, I get a lot of that. <laughs> a lot of people come in here and say that exact thing. People don't That's like dogs, so, but they like their, their but dogs. But they are grown. Right. Yeah, so there you go. That's All right. True. The website, one more time to find out more. APAMO.org. Stacy Switzer, already Thanks, better than Stacey. Jennifer Blom oh, here oh on the Big Five. I won't tell her you said that. KTRS. <laughs> 8, 858, back after ABC News, top of the hour.